The Meta Corporation is an American home and commercial appliance brand owned by Whirlpool Corporation after the April 2006 acquisition of Matic. Company history The Matic Washing Machine Company was founded in 1893 by businessman Frederick Matic. In 1925, the Matic Washing Machine Company became Matic, Inc. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, the company was one of the few to actually make a profit in successive years. In 1938, Matag provoked strikes by the company's workers because of a 10% pay cut. The company was able to beat the strike because of the intervention of four military companies, including a machine gun company, of the 113th Cavalry Regiment, Iowa National Guard. At his father's death in 1940, Frederick Matag II, grandson of the founder, took over the presidency. During World War II, the company participated in war production by making special components for military equipment. In 1946, production of washing machines was resumed. In 1949, the first automatic washers were produced in a new, dedicated factory. In 1946, Matuk began marketing a separate line of ranges and refrigerators made by other companies under the Matuk name. During the Korean War, the company again produced parts for military equipment, although washing machine production continued. During the 1950s, the white goods, or laundry and kitchen appliance industry, grew rapidly. Matuk first entered the commercial laundry field at this time, manufacturing washers and dryers for commercial self-service laundries and commercial operators. In response, other full-line appliance producers began to compete with Matic in the white goods consumer market. These included full-line manufacturers such as Whirlpool, General Electric, and Frigidaire, who built not only washing machines and dryers, but also refrigerators, stoves, and other appliances. Since Matic was much smaller than the full-line producers, the company decided to limit itself to the manufacture of washers and dryers, alongside marketing ovens and refrigerators built by other companies, as a small, premium brand manufacturer. The company capitalized on its reputation by renaming its corporate address in Newton, Iowa, One Dependability Square. By 1960, Matuk had ceased marketing ovens and refrigerators, but later began once again to expand into kitchen appliances with its own design of portable kitchen dishwasher and a line of food waste disposers. Upon the death of Frederick Matuk II, the last family member involved in the company's management, E.G. Higdon was named president of the company, with George M. Umbright becoming chairman and CEO. By the late 1970s, over 70% of U.S. households were equipped with washers and dryers, and with approximately 18,000 employees worldwide, the company was established as a dominant manufacturer of large laundry appliances. After the company's acquisition of Magic Chef, Inc., in 1986, a move which nearly doubled its size, the company acquired a new corporate name, Matag Corporation. In 1989 Matag acquired Chicago Pacific Corporation. Chicago Pacific Corporation owned Hoover US and Hoover UK as well as the Massville brand furniture. Matag quickly sold off the The Massville furniture brand. Matag Corporation led by Chairman Daniel Crum, next planned make Matag a worldwide organization. The UK part of Hoover was to help Matag expand into Europe. Hoover UK was not doing well financially and offered customers a round-trip ticket anywhere if they purchased a vacuum. This campaign cost the corporation $50 million to settle. Subsequently Matag sold off Hoover UK. This was a huge setback for the amount of cash Matag had in hand and thus started the downward spiral financially. In 1991 Matag built a new plant in Jackson, Tennessee, for the manufacture of newly designed plastic tub dishwashers. The plastic tub was developed in Newton, Iowa, but in 1996 engineering was transferred to Jackson because Mr. Len Hadley, then president of Matag Corporation, wanted the plant to be self-sufficient. This engineering team engineered a stainless steel dishwasher, tall tub plastic and tall tub stainless steel product. Engineering crescendoed with a double-draw dishwasher which today is manufactured in Findlay, Ohio at the Whirlpool plant, the only Matag legacy product built in the Whirlpool appliance lineup. 
the Jackson plant evolved into a streamlined manufacturing facility that could build thousands of dishwashers daily on multiple lines. This plant was the most efficient plant and was a hallmark for other facilities. Whirlpool closed this plant. In 1997, Maytag Corporation purchased GS Blodgett Corporation. Blodgett made ovens for major pizza companies at the time of the of this purchase Maytag was looking at the Turbo Chef line they had been working on up to this point. Prior to 1997, the Maytag engineering team, at Maytag Laundry Appliances Research and Development, developed the Maytag Neptune line of front-load washers. A matching dryer was introduced to accompany the new washer. The company claimed that the new Neptune model saved energy costs over traditional washer-dryer sets. Production of the Neptune line was later switched to Samsung Electronics. In 2001, the company acquired the Amana Corporation and its appliance assembly facilities. That same year, Ralph F. Haig became the last chairman and chief executive officer of Mater Corporation, serving in that post until March 2006. Once renowned as the standard for laundry appliances, by 2003 the company faced increasing competition from new appliance brands in the U.S. market, as well as from existing appliance manufacturers who had outsourced production a decade earlier in order to reduce costs. While Matic had begun the process of shifting appliance production to lower-cost assembly plants outside the United States, in 2004 the company was still producing 88% of its products in older U.S.-based factories. In an apparent move away from traditional company marketing strategy, company management decided on a plan to stimulate consumer purchases of new Matic appliances before their old ones had worn out. Costs incurred in Matic's acquisition and integration of Amana and an increased corporate debt load led to aggressive internal cost-cutting efforts in direct materials, manufacturing, and distribution costs. Matic introduced a value-priced appliance line under a separate label, Performer by Matag. To increase sales, the company also marketed Matag branded legacy series washing machines that were otherwise identical to low end Amana models, and built at the formerly Amana assembly plant in Heron, Illinois. The rebranded Matag models, later termed Amanatags by dissatisfied owners, received poor customer reviews after reports surfaced of major mechanical and or durability problems. The company also consolidated warehouse operations and cut the number of Matag vendors. Between 2002 and 2004, Matag corporate management cut new product investment by 50%. An increasing chorus of consumer complaints concerning product reliability and customer service, assisted by the rapid growth of Internet consumer forums, began to affect the company's reputation with customers. The company was also slow to react to customer complaints regarding its flagship Neptune washer and dryer line, resulting in further damage to the company's reputation and a $33.5 million payout to settle several class action lawsuits arising from the Neptune problems. By 2005, Matrix market share had declined to all-time lows, sales were flat, and customer satisfaction surveys ranked Matrix near the bottom of the appliance field. The problems with the Neptune line continued. In 2007, 250,000 Neptune washing machines became part of a nationwide safety recall by the Consumer Product Safety Commission due to fire danger. In 2005, Hire sought to expand its share of foreign markets by acquiring rival white goods OEMs and by expanding overseas production capacity. With backing from two large U.S. private equity funds, Hio made a bid to acquire U.S. appliance maker Matag for $1.28 billion. The bid failed and Matag was bought by Whirlpool for $1.7 billion. On April 1, 2006, Whirlpool completed its acquisition of Matag Corporation. In May 2006, Whirlpool announced plans to close the former Matag headquarters office in Newton, as well as laundry product manufacturing plants in Newton, Iowa. Heron. Illinois, and Searcy, Arkansas by 2007. Following the Matic headquarters closure, all brand administration was transferred to Whirlpool's headquarters in Benton Harbor, Michigan. The Matic name would now be used on Whirlpool-designed appliances. Most Matic employees were terminated, but some were offered jobs at Whirlpool. The board of directors of Matic all received five years severance pay. 
former Matemug chairman and CEO, Ralph F. Hake, received two years' base salary and two years' target bonus under his severance agreement. On January 1, 2009, Matemug changed the vested lifetime benefits of the Matemug retirees. There is a lawsuit pending in the Southern District Court of Iowa where Whirlpool has asked for permission to change the UAW bargain benefits. The benefits in question were subsequently changed despite any resolution of the lawsuit. Equals chronology equals. Own brands, Admiral, Amana, Caloric, Dynasty, Gaffers and Sattler, Gumwood, Hardwick, Holiday, Ingalls, Jade, Jean Eyre, Lytton, Magic Chef, Menu Master, Modern Maid, Norge, Sunray. Products, in major appliances, Maytag was among the top three companies in the North American market, offering a full line of washing machines, dryers, dishwashers, cooktops, refrigerators, and ranges under the Maytag, Jean Eyre, Amana, and Magic Chef brands. Maytag also used to manufacture the top load laundry for Crossley until the Maytag's merger with Whirlpool. Matic sold multiple small appliances including a cordless iron under the Matemug brand, a mixer and blender under Jean Eyre, the company also sold the popular ski box and rookie home bending products. In floor care, Matic owned the Hoover brand, the market leader in North America and the floor care brand with the highest consumer recognition and buying preference. In commercial products, Matic owned Dixie Narco a leader in refrigerated soft drink and specialty vending machines as well as Jade cooking products and Amana commercial cooking products. Matic had presence in markets around the world, including sales operations in Mexico, the United Kingdom, Japan, and Australia. The corporation's export sales and marketing, licensing of brands, and international joint ventures was coordinated by Matic International in Schoenberg, Illinois. Matuk International, in 1988, Domica was established as Matuk Corporation's International Division and in 1992 became Matuk International, Inc., which eventually encompassed all of Matuk's worldwide ventures including Matuk Australia, Matuk Japan, Matuk Commercial, and Matuk UK. Matuk International, was based in Schoenberg, Illinois, handled the sales, licensing and business ventures of corporate appliances and floor care brands in overseas markets as well as the administrative support for the international sales organization. This network extended to more than 70 countries worldwide. Matuk International was responsible for export sales and licensing of the corporation's appliances and floor care brands and joint ventures in overseas markets. This network extends to more than 90 countries worldwide. The main office is located in Chicago with major subsidiary offices in Burlington, Ontario, Monterey, Sydney, and London and region sales offices in Beirut and Yokohama. Manufacturing plants, as of 2008, Matic, by this time a division of Whirlpool Corporation, had 14 manufacturing plants throughout the United States and Mexico. These included, laundry manufacturing plants in the U.S. in Newton, Iowa. Heron, Illinois, and Circe, Arkansas, and in Mexico, Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. Refrigeration manufacturing plants in Amana, Iowa and Reynosa, Tamaulipas, cooking manufacturing plant in Cleveland, Tennessee, dishwashing manufacturing plant in Jackson, Tennessee, vending manufacturing plant in Williston, South Carolina, floor care manufacturing plant in Canton, Ohio. Subassembly Manufacturing Plant in Reynosa, Tamaulipas. Over the following years, Whirlpool closed Matemug plants in Newton, Iowa, Heron, Illinois, Searcy, Arkansas, and Jackson, Tennessee. The Hoover Floor Care Plant in Canton, Ohio was sold to Tektronic Industries, and its Dixie Narco vending machine plant in Williston, South Carolina was acquired by Crane Merchandising Systems. The remaining Matug plants in operation today are in Cleveland, Tennessee and Amana, Iowa. Whirlpool has since created a new plant in Cleveland. While holding on to a Matug legacy workforce, the legacy buildings are no longer in use. All Lonely All Lonely, or The Lonely Repair Man, is a character in Matug advertisements, 
created for Maytag by copyright of Vincent Avassilo of the Leo Burnett Advertising Agency. His character was initially played by Jesse White, who retained the role until 1988. In a time in which the laundry appliances of major manufacturers had reached maturity, differing mostly in minor details, the campaign was designed to remind consumers of the perceived added value in Maytag products derived from the brand's reputation for dependability. Maytag advertisements stated a Euro OEOL on earlier Euro unregistered trademark S predicament is testimony to the durability and reliability of Maytag appliances. Now if only he had something to do with his days a euro the campaign proved a huge success, allowing Maytag to set a substantial price premium, as well as strongly influencing consumer preference at the higher end of the laundry appliance market. In 1986, the repairman was joined by Newton, a Bassett town named for Maytag a euro unregistered trademark s headquarters in Newton, Iowa. In 1989, Character actor Gordon Jump first appeared as All Only in the advertisement a Euro OE Biker a Euro in total. Jump appeared in more than 77 Mater commercials and print advertisements. He made appearances at events for employees and customers and also was actively involved in several philanthropic and charitable causes. Ironically, a former Mater repairman was convicted of fabricating repair and expense claims. Actor Hardy Rawls was hired to play all only after Jump's retirement in 2003, although he appeared only in print advertising and personal appearances. Gordon Jump died two months later on September 22, 2003. In French-speaking Quebec, all only was played by Paul Berville. For a period of time Maytag gave all only a younger sidekick character known as the Maytag Apprentice, played by actor Mark Devine. However, in 2005 Maytag cancelled his contract. Maytag also elected not to renew Rawls' contract, instead holding open auditions. Indianapolis Colts backup quarterback Jim Sorge was among those who auditioned. On April 2, 2007, Maytag announced that Clay L. Jackson of Richmond, Virginia had been selected to fill the role of All Lonely. By the end of the 20th century, the Maytag repairman character had become an iconic metaphor for a professional whose services are rarely needed, such as most people in town now have their own cars, making the local bus driver like the Maytag repairman. Times were changing however, and events at Maytag and within the industry began to diminish the effectiveness of the long-lived Maytag repairman campaign. Consumer demand for innovative, expensive, and increasingly complex electronically controlled and computerized appliances, coupled with higher labor costs and complaints over Maytag product quality and service, influenced a decline in Maytag sales and profit margins. By 2004, the Maytag repairman character had become to some consumers a symbol of misplaced trust in aging marketing campaigns. As one commentator noted, unfortunately things change, and, after some major quality hiccups, now it's the Maytag salesman who is bemoaning his loneliness. Matrix's reputation has plunged to the bottom with costly consumer class action lawsuits and numerous quality complaints. As a partial result of Matrix's quality problems, the company reported a loss of $9 million in 2004, according to Industry Week. In January 2014, Matrix announced a Generation 5 of the Matrix Repair Man, currently played by Colin Ferguson. But instead of commercials showing the repairman waiting around his shop for a Maytag appliance to break, he is playing the part of the actual appliance. See also Maytag Toy Racer Automobiles References External links Maytag, Maytag Corporation website, DLS Maytag Australia